Hi, I'm a born fan of PC Anywhere and I got this cool feature in PC Anywhere product type which is PC Quick Connect. I just created a short demo as I found it cool and uh, I'm just starting with the install. What I did was I went ahead with the default install and uh, set all the default options as they were in the install options and uh, cool PC Anywhere was installed. And here I see a new shortcut on my desktop that says PC Quick Connect. And this is what all the new feature is all about. Uh, it lets you connect to host in just a couple of clicks. So here is a new UI which shows PC Quick Connect. And now I am just going to show you a simple connect where I will go and type in the IP address of the host computer which I want to connect to and uh, I'll just go and hit connect I hope it works and uh, these are the areas of providing credentials oops I picked it I don't want to do it right now I just want to go and connect and here I go and connect I'm supposed to see a credential box it's there I'm connected to my host and this is a full flash host remote session running on my machine you can see that uh, pop-up window saying the remote name connected to this host and uh, this is my session so let me end this session and we'll see some advanced features which are change port and save the credentials for the remote for the host sorry so here I go I type in the host IP address again and now we will expand this block with the options button uh, I click on advance and here are the options for changing the ports my host is running on different ports so I have changed my remote ports as well I am adding the credentials and checking on save credentials box and click connect here I go and connect to my host again so this is the same session that I had established in the last screen my connection is successful again the balloon message shows the remote name connected to this particular host I can browse the host explorer my session goes well and I end the session here now uh, we saw the port change feature now let me show you the save credentials item so this is the remote item the host item that I had connected to and here you see the credentials are saved but uh, if I change the IP address the credentials are not there so anytime here after when I want to connect to this particular host my credentials are already saved with the application I can just select it from the combo and can hit connect and it will go and connect to the same host and my session gets established in just one click that's the beauty of the PC Quick Connect where you don't have to configure the remote item set all the configuration settings and browse through n number of tabs and stuff but here it's a simple connect I'm just showing the sample file transfer so of PC Anywhere just to ensure that my connection is through and good connection is established I'm done with my file transfer and I end the session here the next cool thing that I found in this particular one is quick deploy and connect which is actually a thin host deployment functionality of full product PC anywhere which is available where on a button click where the thin host gets deployed to a host machine I mean the machine where you want to connect but doesn't have PC anywhere with the bare minimum settings you just need to provide admin credentials of the host machine so here I am putting the administrator and administrator password of the host machine and I click connect so now you can read the status message down there with my pointer 
it says deploying thin host and here is a session that I have established so my thin host got deployed on the host machine and uh, I'm connected to my host you can see the host running down there in the status bar you can see its sensation I'll show you where this thin host is copied and running from it's the legacy uh, thin host uh, location which is C temp temp folder and all these files have got copied here and I found it pretty cool because I don't have to go through all the process of configuring thin host and going through all different options but I get it ready made over here uh, that's really interesting so you can download PC Android trial version from the this particular website it's really cool you can have the support knowledge base articles and PDFs on the link and here is a user forum where you can ask your queries 